Just check it out. Does anybody else live like this? <laughs> Welcome to the video. Hope everybody out there is doing okay. How's your run up to Christmas going? I know it's still kind of early. To the resellers out there, because I know not everybody who watches the videos are actually resellers. Have your sales been? Have they been okay? Are they picking up, you know, Christmas is just around the corner? Are they picking up now? Or or what? Like, what kind of stuff have you been selling? Is it the usual kind of thing? Or are you finding it's different with all the issues with the economy? Are you finding it's kind of like the essential items, clothing and stuff that's selling? Or do you think people are maybe like starting to shop for Christmas early and like spreading the cost? Don't know, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let's have a look what we have sold. 21 items going out. We're starting here in the tat room. We have quite a few items in here. Let me see. We've got 11 items up here, and then we're going to go down to the sheds and see what we've sold from out of there. There's some rather large, heavy, breakable things, unfortunately. But, yeah, you'll see what I mean. We'll get there in just a minute. So we're going to start with this. Now, everything here is, like, in a completely different place. This is my little list my partner's just given me. And everything, look, everything is in a different box. Or a different place so that's good nice uh nice and fun that isn't it let's uh <laughs> let's get on so this here i just picked this up recently from a car boot sale it was only 50p and i got only five pounds 85 for it free postage it's going to cost me just under three pounds to post it 50p buy-in we're not making a lot of profit but i figured coming up to christmas that these would sell and there we go one sold almost like within 48 hours of me listing it and they are just here. I've not put them away yet. Well, I just stuck them on here for now before they were heading to a box. So, yeah, not a lot, but it's easy, right? Easy photographs. Not a lot can go wrong with a transaction like that. Next is this it's a Moomin's musical jewelry box. I forgot I'd put a little video on this. I say I, I think it was my partner on this one. Has anybody else really kind of done much with the videos? We don't do a lot, only if it's something like this where it's like moving. Yeah, not very often we do it, but occasionally we do. And this sold fairly quickly. So this went for £37 plus postage. I did have it up at 49 99 We went back and forth and I'm happy to do that £37 plus postage. I only paid three or four pounds for it for a charity shop and it's not perfect condition there's a few kind of little issues with it this is in box n which is just here that's just right there in front it's nice to kind of sell some of the slightly larger items not that this is massive but you know nice bit of room there back in the box because these boxes right now are pretty much jam-packed for the most part. I've been having a bit of a sort out in the last couple of weeks. Tidied the shed, tidied in here. Next is this Only Fools and Horses Krusty Rodney Bobblehead toy. I got a few of these and one of them has already sold. Or was two of them? Have two of them already sold? I can't really think, but I've still got the large ones. Large ones are still here, but this one has just sold. Is it going to be this one? Yeah. There it is. £17 plus postage. I pay £20 for all of them. I'm already into the profit because I've already sold at least one or two of the smaller ones. I can't really remember now. But we are definitely into the profit now with this one. And I've still got, you know, arguably... The better ones left this one is worth a little bit more and then my favorite is this one You've got the little car and the little figures next is these emmerdale fridge magnets i actually had these in larger bundles separate so somebody inquired and asked if they could just buy these two i wouldn't always do it but I said, well, I can, but I'll have to do, I'll have to 
charge a tenner plus postage and she said yes so i'm happy enough to do it if i can get tenner for you know two fridge magnets i'm happy to do it and then i'll obviously have to retake all the photographs so these are not in a box they were in the shed but i got them out last night and i've just brought them up just to kind of quickly show you and the person who bought these was like had a mad collection of magnets she actually sent me a few photographs through of her collection i might put something on the screen now briefly just to show you some of what she had she's got like a load of gladiators and emmerdale and a few other things as well uh, california raisins yeah it's a nice collection of those magnets all the fridge magnets i have are very very little i bought several large bundles of them i go through them i look a few of them up any that look a bit interesting see if they're worth anything by themselves and the rest i just bulk lot into 20 to 30 per lot sometimes a bit less depending on what i've got um i'll kind of sort them into little categories and they seem to do okay they don't sell crazy quick so a couple of plush in what my partner is calling plush hell <laughs> yeah my partner's written this out for me just to make it a bit easier to find all this stuff rather than going back to my phone. But yeah, plush hell. I don't think it's that bad. But yeah, we've got like kind of plush towers here. So that's full, that's full, and this is full of plush toys. This is not too bad. It's not as, it used to be, it used to be hell getting anything out of this, but it's not as bad right now. I got this from a car boot sale. I think it was 50p, £9.50 plus postage is what I got. Brand new tags. Look at him. And the other plush toy is this one, little Toy Story 4 one. Had this for quite a while. Again, newer tags. Only got five pounds plus postage on this one. But only had pence into him. So they are both in here. Let's find them. Just dug him out from the bottom of the box. That's one of them. And the other one is here too. Just there. Next is this. This is an Atlas Editions Classic Coach. There's not much money in these, but I got a few of them for free. And they go for about five to ten pounds each when they're in the box like this. They're not new and they don't have the certificates, most of them. But there's still a little bit of money in them. Five pounds fifty plus postage on this. There it is, it's one of these. Do you know what? I don't think these are labelled up as to which one is which, and it doesn't say anything on the out of the box, so just give me a second. Yeah, I got lucky it was the first one I came to. Yeah, check that out for a ruler. I'm not even gonna attempt to say that. Sorry. I've tried many times. <laughs> It's the really long place name in Wales. Go, go, go. I know that bit. Yeah, I don't even know where I got this from. I think this was my brother's when he was younger. I think it came out of his bedroom when he cleared it out. Next is this Braun Series 3 razor. I got this for free. £27 plus postage. And it is in box B. I didn't intend that to rhyme, but there you go. Pretty sure it's in here now this for some reason i've already sold this twice previously and then they cancelled before i've even had a chance to package it up this time they have bought it it's been two days so hopefully there will be no cancellation i have no idea why they're cancelling it next is these they only went for six pounds plus postage but they were kind of a mini bundle that i got from somebody i got these i got like a vintage tape holder and a biscuit jar, like a nice hornsy blue biscuit jar for five quid. So there's my money back with these. And they are in box C. Just them. Decent enough condition. Next is these. This is a job lot of vintage horse brasses and a couple of possibly silver cockerels i don't think they are silver i'm not sure what metal they are 
But yeah, these were given to me to sell. Um, she didn't want any money for them, but I will probably give her a tenner or something. Got £27 plus postage on these. And they're in box G, which is probably, must be down here somewhere. There they are. I think these are off to Australia. I'm sure it's somewhere in that neck of the woods. We've got two more things to get. One is in I, one is in J. And they're both in very difficult to reach places. So these here, I think I mentioned these before, the Early Learning Center, Tower of Doom, the two troll guys here. These are not the ones I picked up quite recently. These are older than that. And they have only gone for 4 99 plus postage, but the person is in America and they've paid something like 40 quid or dollars, I think it was pounds, to, well, pretty much the same these days, right? Yeah, 40, about 40 pound all in to get these two guys. Maybe he's like completing a set or something. Anyway, they should be in here. There we are. Hard to say where I got these two from, I really don't know, but I will not have paid much pence, more than likely. And this is the last thing that is in here, five pounds plus postage is what I got for this. And I think I got this as part of a large bundle of Playmobil, like pirates and stuff, and this was just in with it. But I have sold this before our own stuff, so maybe it's our own from a way back, I can't really remember either way very very little to nothing into it just check it out does anybody else live like this i obviously wouldn't keep it like that long term but probably not the safest thing in the world is it anyway down here is box j second hardest box to get to after that one right there don't tend to keep fast selling stuff in here. Uh, where are the Yeah, there's all the golf balls that I got from the boot sale recently. Some decent enough money in them for what I paid. Check it out, these guys hired in. I've got the medieval guys there as well. And the Christmas one. That's weird that, I just uh, <laughs> very randomly, that plastic bag there, you probably not need to read it because it's small writing and dark in there. But that is the plastic bag, just the plastic bag because I actually got rid of the jacket recently. But it's, it's from the first, one of the first items of clothing I ever bought to resell. So like three years ago or something. Yeah, just just a bit weird. It didn't go very well, but it was from a 50p like rummage box thing. Um, it wasn't a very nice jacket, but yeah, it was a jacket for 50p, so I was going to buy it. Uh, that went back to charity, that one. But random fact for you there. I just thought that was really strange to see that there. I didn't know uh, the bag for it was still in there. It takes me right back to my early days of reselling. Luckily, I think I've got a bit better since then stuff I pick up does not sit around quite that long these days for the most part so that's it for in here let's go down to the sheds and get the rest of the stock just a little sneak peek here of what I've been up to well not really you if you watch all the videos some of this stuff you will recognize some of it you won't you know I found this the other day two pounds from a charity shop I actually have still have one of the two bundles of plush toys that I got at Christmas last year up for sale but I kind of didn't really want to get rid of the caterpillar 
but now I found him for two quid so yes I'm quite happy here he's a keeper that one uh, this right here has quite a lot of accessories and these with you know a good amount of accessories go for okay money but if it's just like the tower with nothing they only go for about 10 quid but the accessories and the you know the little figures and the furniture is where the money is at i got this the other day it's a fundamental two at least i think it is cookie jar it doesn't actually say fundamental two on this one so i'm a little bit yeah i'm not sure on this whether it's legit not sure i'll have to have a bit of a further look into that uh, this is a good one here to look out for out there a little bit excited when i scanned this in and saw how much they can go for but then i opened it up it's in the charity shop to find out there was no dvds or blu-ray discs inside so yeah so i took it to the counter anyway and they let me have it for a quid which i think is all right you've got like some limited edition postcards and stuff like that in there but look out for this out there i'll put on the screen how much they go for definitely one to keep an eye out for yeah, this popcorn maker works great. We made a load of popcorn with it a couple of weeks ago. For some reason, I've still not photographed it. I probably should get it out of my way. Maybe that's a job for today. And then a few other things I'm on with is more magnets, just kind of having a bit of a, well, I need to retake some of the photographs. Um, I've also got a load of PC games and stuff. Check this one out here. I actually have the big box version of this or did I sell it? I think I might have sold it recently actually. This is just the CD of it just the game disc only so I paid very little for all these I, I really can't remember where I got all these from was it a boot sale? Any of you guys remember where I got these from? <laughs> got some pumpkins just here you didn't know i've got a second channel called adventure aspen where it's this kind of content where i go out and randomly pick up some pumpkins go and check it out so let's start in here in the big shed don't know if you can tell but i've had a little bit of a tidy still a lot of stuff right but mugville here has had to expand to up here as well <laughs> These are all listed. All listed. These are all listed. And then these are the ones that are not yet. I'm down to just one crate full now, which is uh, not too bad. I've picked out kind of the best ones, really. But there's still a few decent ones amongst these. They will all get listed in the next couple of weeks. That is my plan. They need to all be on before Christmas, give them every chance of actually selling. This is where everything goes when I first buy it here. So everything here, round to here, is unlisted. Unlisted stock. Everything here and that way is listed, including everything in here. With a couple of exceptions down here, I've still got these comic books that I've not done yet. And this big load of video game stuff. We've got some Nintendo Wii's, an Xbox. Just not got around to it. I'm gonna what I tend to do is leave it and just hit it all at once. So I'll have one day where I just get all of this on. Same with all these comics. I'll have one day where I just get it all on in one go. That's what I like to do. I don't like to kind of, you know, pick out one Wii, pick out a small handful of them. I would rather just do them in, in bundles and just, just get it, just get it cleared. And randomly here, you just saw me before selling the... Uh, Tower of Doom figures. Well, here's another couple of them that I did get from the car boot sale recently. That one and this one. So I will list them and hopefully they'll go for another fiver. Didn't pay a lot for them. This is what I affectionately call Tupperware Towers up here. Actually, all this Tupperware is listed. So this is the exception because it is with the unlisted stuff. But I've always kind of kept my Tupperware up here. Not just exclusively to Tupperware, Tupperware type stuff. Yeah, and this guy kind of keeps watch over it all. Anyway, first item in here is this bread bin. 33.99 plus postage is what I got for it. It's quite good, this one, but it is a bit rough around the edges. There's a few like little marks which are shown in the photographs. Probably can't make it out. There's like a chip, chip there. 
a few marks and stuff nothing major though and this should be yes just over here and i am glad to get rid of this one just because it's you know it takes up a lot of room i'd rather have the stuff off the floor and on these shelves whenever i can quite a big one this heavy very fragile what i tend to do is bubble wrap it really well like i don't know maybe 10 times around it then i will wrap it in card about this thick this of card and then i will float it in a large box one of these boxes up here and next is this yes another bread bin it's one of the classic kind of rayware design ones this is the best condition one i have i think i've only got two left now they have been selling but this is the best one i've got one here and one here so let's have a look i should be able to tell just from looking at the lid i think i'm sure the one that's not that great which is still pretty good but not as good as this one yeah i think there's some like little chips on the lid yeah pretty sure this is it yeah yeah really good condition this one 40 pounds plus postage I will just double check that as well before I send it. I'll just double check all the photographs just to make sure. And did you think that was it for bread bins? Well, if you did, you were wrong because this one has sold as well. 38 pounds, this one plus postage. Charged eight quid for postage on this because this is really, really heavy. Got this from a car boot sale. In fact, I got all these from a car boot sale. Which one? <laughs> I have no idea. But all three of these bread bins came from a car boot sale. And it is down here. Might need to put you down for a second while I find this one. I think it's down in this corner. So just bear me a moment. Yeah, it was. It's right down here. Breadbin City. Yeah, it's a really a tall one, this, as well as being really heavy. just the lid i'm not even joking just the lid of that might be as heavy as that one in its entirety so this was in good condition but there is a little chip on the lid somewhere there it is i mean nothing major you know, you can barely see it when it's actually on. So we've got three bread bins there and we are making about a hundred pounds after fees and everything on those three. So not too bad at all, hundred quid on some bread bins that I picked up for very, very cheap at boot sales. Definitely worthwhile. It does take a bit of packaging of them. It does, it's gonna be busy today, but so be it. Next is this, $27.99 plus postage. This is a baby bath. I can't even remember when or where I bought this. I, it's just been in here for ages. I've bought the odd baby bath before to resell, but I wouldn't really recommend it for the size of them, the amount of room they take up, and how quickly they sell, which is not quick. It's really not that worth it, but I'm glad to see this one go. Every time I need to get some out of these boxes, I'm lifting it off. I probably won't buy another one unless it's really, really cheap, really cheap. And even then, I'll think twice about it. Next is these. These have only sold for £7 plus postage. It's just three saucers from a, an Arco Rock tea set. I have no ideas, no idea why I really have these. All I can think is that I, I must have, they must have been with like a set of crockery at some point in the past. One of them is actually slightly chipped and I remember nearly throwing them away, but I figured, hey, I'd, I'd give it a go, see if anybody wants them. I'll just mention the chip. And yeah, some, you know, there's a little bit of interest and then somebody's bought them. So just because something's damaged sometimes, still give it a go. Only seven pounds plus postage. Yeah, not a lot, but better than it just going in the bin, right? At least somebody gets some use out of it. Now these are over here in that top crate. There they are. 
Just that. Next is this Sylvalian Families Bundle. I've actually got three houses very similar to this with different vintage characters with them. Some of which were from that bundle I got last year, if you remember that. Got a load of vintage stuff. The vintage stuff, like the, the old houses went really quick. The newer stuff, like this, stuck around for a bit longer. But the vintage 80s like figures definitely help these things sell. 1750 plus postage and it should be let me see what so it's bears white with red roof hopefully that should help me locate the correct one they're all over here uh, let me see shutters yes door uh, window shutters is what i'm after as well pretty sure it's this one that one doesn't have window shutters one behind doesn't have window shutters either so it must be this let's just double check yeah bears that is it nice little profit on that very little very little into this next is this this is my favorite sale out of everything check that out mickey mouse like pumpkin sweet bowl halloween style i put a few photographs up on the screen of it in all its glory you won't be able to tell very well like this and it's actually in a load of polystyrene over here which i really don't want to have to get it out of i have i did get it out originally and check it over but this was a disney retail arbitrage thing they were selling these off just before halloween last year they were selling them and they were selling them at half price which i think was 17 pounds 50 but i got a discount an extra discount off that and i can't think exactly how much i ended up getting it for in the end i think it's around somewhere between 12 and 15 pounds i think i've sold it for 40 plus postage some of these i've gone for a little bit more than that but we're getting close to halloween now didn't want it kind of you know hanging around for another year happy to do 40 it's going to germany which brings me on to very briefly the whole sending stuff to germany lucid packaging thing some people won't know what i'm on about but for those that do i have been exempting germany uh, with gsp just because i didn't want to go through the whole registering process yeah, i'm not going to go into the whole thing but basically if you send into germany whether it be gsp or whatever it is if you're a business seller then there's certain things you have to do now to avoid getting possible fines um, or to avoid you know the item maybe not ever getting to the customer i believe if you send in gsp then you don't have to do anything you don't have to register with lucid now don't mark my words on that but that is coming from ebay so i went i was on to ebay via chat and i explained the whole situation and they said no if you're sending gsp to germany we do we we will repackage it if it's required and we take care of all that you don't have to worry about that and I was like, are you sure? Because I'm sure that wasn't the case originally. You still had to register, is what I believe. And I went into their help section on the eBay website. And that kind of said that you have to as well. But she was like, no, nope, no, nope, we take care of that now. And I was like, right, okay, if that's what you're saying. So I've got that chat manuscript. Manuscript, is that right? I've got the chat. Anyway, via email, I have it there. So if anything goes wrong here, Hopefully I am covered, but that's where this item is going. Hopefully it arrives before Halloween. It should do. So there it is. What I will probably do is get a load of bubble wrap, kind of fill in this gap all the way around. And then I will put it in a box and float it with void fill all the way around the edges. Make sure it's floating. Maybe even double box, maybe. We will see. I've got lots of boxes at the moment, so that'd be fine. Yeah, just a really nice item, this. Good to see it go. I did actually want to buy a lot more than this, but I hesitated, and they sold out. I should have just bought a load. But you don't know when it's retail arbitrage, and you're paying up a bit for the stuff. It's one of them. But on this one, I should have pulled the trigger and bought them all. I should have done. But you do have to think about storing this stuff. If I had loads of these, 
it's a lot of room isn't it so you've got to weigh that up as well and it's seasonal so it's not going to sell all year round so the last two items are in here in the new shed and also i sold one of these to somebody on friday last thing they needed it for a gift a leaving gift for somebody so i wouldn't usually but i went out friday just to post one of these out to them if you didn't know it is one of these wkd like traffic cone things i'm only selling them for 12.99 plus postage but have less than a pound into them but again nice to kind of get rid of the larger stuff right here only two left now and that will be that get a bit more room back right two items in here let's have a look so we've got this 14.99 plus postage i got this from a car boot sale recently for a pound or two I'm not sure i remember the car boot sale and i vaguely remember the person i bought it from but yeah don't know pound or two wasn't a lot 14.99 plus postage it is tin not ceramic so that is very welcome today there it is, just there. It's quite nice. I thought Emma Bridgewater when I saw it. It's not. It's this brand here. Never heard of that. But yeah, nice little sale. What do? And those now tapes that I got, I mentioned before, uh, this was the biscuit tin, biscuit jar that I got along with that for a fiver. I really like this tapestry blue jar they don't go for all that much money really but the design on this i absolutely love it if nobody buys this soon i might have to keep it yeah you keep guard and a man and lastly is this i knew this wouldn't hang around for long i thought it might go a little bit closer to christmas but no it has sold it's been up for only a week just over a week and it's gone for 36 pounds plus postage i paid the equivalent of what about three or four pounds for it from a boot sale i got that along with these here for eight quid so yeah really nice this i do like it and it's like a resin kind of is it wood or is it resin i think it's like a resin and this is going off to australia 36 pounds was postage i think they were in about 70 pounds for it that's the brand Heartwood Creek. I've had a look and not all this Heartwood Creek stuff actually is worth that much. So it's a bit hit and miss. This is from 2003 though. So it's like nearly vintage. Maybe that's why it's uh, gone for this amount. I'm sure. So that is everything picked. Wish me luck getting all this stuff packaged up. My partner is helping. Thank God because otherwise I would be here literally all day doing it there's so much and so many fragile items so let's do it let's get it all packed subscribe subscribe <laughs> so it's a couple of hours later now and that is everything packaged up it did take a while but we did it so that's 76 pounds 50 in postage on all this that bath had to go parcel force couldn't get it hermes so i've lost a couple of quid sending it parcel force but hey that's all right still making a decent enough profit probably more like about 20 quid now uh, 18 20 quid profit on that i'll put on the screen now roughly how much money we are making thank you for watching if you enjoyed that video please hit the like button subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you in the next one Subscribe.